we're on to solving these radical equations. And we've got this one that's given here, and we, we're going to solve it for x. And if we look at this one, this one's a little bit unique because we have a square root sign on both sides of the equal sign. Uh, and so when we have that, the goal is to get rid of those. So what I can do is square both sides of these. Okay, so I've got the square root of 2x minus 10 equal to the square root of x minus 4. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to square both sides. And by squaring, whoops, I need to square that side as well. There we go. Okay, by squaring it, that gets rid of this square root sign. So those two will cancel each other. Same thing on this side, I'll get rid of that. Now we're left with whatever's underneath the radical, 2x minus 10 equals x minus 4. Okay? All right, now I need to get all of the numbers on one side, so I'm going to add 10 to this side. That'll leave me 2x equals x plus 6. Now I need to get all the x's on the other side. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to subtract x from this side, subtract x from the other side. I'm left to just plain old x equals 6. And this is my answer, x equals 6. Now, in order to check to make sure it works, I can take this 6 and I can plug it right back in here. 2 times 6 is 12, minus 10. That leaves me with the square root of 2 on this side. Over here, I've got 6 minus 4 is the square root of 2. So now I'm left with the square root of 2 equals the square root of 2. So it does indeed check out. It's good. That's our answer.